Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. You got your boy FVG Butter, number 26, man. The biggest of FVG right as of now. As of right now. The biggest. FVG Butter, what you want, guys? I'm living life. I'm letting life life for me, man. You feel me? Taking these guys as skits, because that's what they is, man. They fucking skits. <laughs> well, welcome back to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you, as always. And let the folks know who you got on the couch with you. I got, I got my boy, Ock. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah of Enemies. Ain't that how you say it? Isaiah Enemies. Enemies. Oh, I, don't you know you I, be, enemies. Crazy. I don't know. You swear I be high, gang. I be fried, gang. And then you got Kim K, man. You know what I'm saying? We got some little shit going on out here today. Well, man, butter, tell us, tell us what's been going on with you, man. I'm living life, um, right. bro. I've been, I'm like when I say I'm living life, like I really am living life. Like you know what I'm saying? My fuckers, I moved from the city. You know what I'm saying? Like I officially moved from the city. I'm in Fort Worth right now. Congratulations on that. You no, know, nice little house I'm living. You no, know, but uh, new shit, new life, new wife. New shit, new, just you know, new vibes, new energy, new shit. Like I got, I had to change, change my environment. So I'm working on that. I've been doing it. Shit going on. Fuck is making this shit happen. That's what's up, man. I'm glad to hear that, man. Uh, you know, the last time we had you on here, uh, you know, I, I, I threw a boomerang in the King Lil J interview. You know, it's crazy. It went, it went, it went too crazy. I mean, it, it, it did. Like I. I'm um, gonna be like, no cat, like, you know, I was, I've been wanting to just rotate with him. I tried to rotate with him, you know, when I first came to the crib when he called on my baby mama birthday, we was out in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom, all the guys, we was all passing the phone around talking to him. Feel me? I tried to rotate with him then, da da da, you know? And then, like, I, feel like, he came home, he wasn't really, he was just fronting shit for the night. He wasn't really trying to rotate with him, you know? And I felt like shit, if anything, brother, you know, well, he, you see, he kept saying, oh, man, so you don't love me and all this shit. Like, nigga, I ain't never said I ain't love you, nigga. I'm talking about the fact that you can't, you try to bash me on um, bro, nigga. You came for my throat, slime. You try to, th you play me crazy. In the, I mean, this bitch getting on all type of shit. Boy. I'm bro, Greg. I ain't in PC, brother. I'm on Rick coming through this bitch. I'm coming back from the joint from a, a county case or something. Getting on with a nigga, I'm, well, I'm in a hole bumping with a nigga because they, they tweaking with you or playing with your name. So it was like, when I'm calling to the world, a motherfucker like, man, let Jay saying that shit. He playing on my name, bro. You feel me? And then, <clears throat> regardless of the fact that motherfucker, he admitted it or not, but surely when you ran my time to expose you the first time, surely you, you try to throw me under the bus. Try to, you fucking lay me a snitch, gang. On fourth grade. And that shit was crazy. I couldn't even really get how I, I couldn't really say what I really wanted to say because I was trying to let him talk, bro. I wasn't trying to over talk him or none of that because I'm tired, DJ. You feel it's like, you know. I'm tired too. Motherfucker get tired of shit. Sure, this shit, this. I'm tired. I'm like, why? What we finna do now, bro? Oh, I bro. need y'all to reconcile because it's clear that you all still got love for each other. Man, nah, man I don't think we can be able to do it after this. I, after that shit that just dropped out with like 24 hours, 12, 13 hours ago. Man, so I can't be, I got about? too much shit going on already, so they, they label me as a snitch. I ain't gonna look at me, you fucking with a They gonna be, are you a snitch? And a you, what you got going on? Come on, gang. Come what on, DJ, you gang. What you 13 what you talking about? What happened? Man, I, I, thought my, I, I thought my phone, bro. So you ain't see all these, these, these messages with Lil J and this. Trini, I mean, uh, in, in, in Red Montana game? No. What happened? Fuck, man. That shit crazy, DJU, bro. Man, DJU gang. What, him in Red Montana? He say, man, I'm going to always be in your corner. I always have your back. You know, we been f with each other. It was, I mean, that match was long, but that bitch was deep. In so many words, that bitch touched it like if, if that was a bitch, a, I mean a real bitch, you feel me? He he definitely show had his bitch back with that letter. No cap. That was like AI written. 
Oh my brother, shorty. DJ, you you ain't saw the internet yet, brother. Man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking for it right now. Hey, hey, security guard. Come on, security man. Pass me my phone off the charger. I got real security around this bitch, boy. Security man, security. Okay, okay, okay I see what you're saying. Top flight. Feel real security. Oh, so Rare real. Montana leaked some some emails. This new shit. What's or oh, some text messages? What's man, that? Man, sure, that's the email from jail. Mm. You feel me? She God, say that man. Geechee don't know me like that. Who you talking about, gang? At Jeff McGraw, you could have said anything else, but you chose to disrespect me, and you wonder why I left you alone a long time ago. And you saw what he said in the message. He say, "Cause technically I'm your man." He say, "He say, he say, your man back." Technically, I ain't never leave. You left me. Oh my God! I tired. Lord, that's a Lord. Look, come on, Lou. Lou, that's you. He packing you all dope like you, Lord. What you want, bro? I can't do it. He might try to f me, G. Uh uh. Nope, I don't do it. Hey, that's mm -mm. crazy, bro. Nope. Not on duty. I'm scared of him. That shit crazy. He a f killer. Ain't he big as hell, boy? So imagine if he catch me, I'm fried off that shit. He knocking me out. Y'all don't think he might do something strange to me? He probably been thinking for years. Tuka, <laughs> 16, 18 years about what he do if he could f me, boy. Hell no. I don't want to make my man's about nothing no more. I'm. You won the fourth grade game. 600 Breeze said y'all had something going on. Man, That's 600 Breeze, too good. 600 Breeze, don't play with me, gang. Take care of your kids, gang. I'm pushing peace. Matter of fact, DJ, you ain't even on that, bro. You know what? Breeze. Hey, right, right. Speaking we, of peace, bro, we doing peace. this shit for the kids, bro. Take care of your kids on Jaja. Certain niggas can't take, look, a lot of these niggas can't push peace, right? Because in real life, they ain't even doing nothing positive in their life with the bastards they raising. Oh, my brother, sure, did. a lot of these got kids on Tuka, sure, they don't even spend no time, don't do nothing with these kids, brother. They just have kids. The mom be with the kids and shit. Feel me? Well, my brother, so it's like, when it comes to that shit, a lot of niggas can't push peace. They, it ain't, they don't want to push peace. They shit, they don't know how to do nothing else. But cause chaos. Feel me? Every day they wake up with chaos in their life because they baby mama gonna cause chaos because you ain't doing shit. You just sold this bitch, these dreams, all this, these months, these years, yeah, baby, we get these, head this, she ain't did nothing. Nothing. I don't be so like, all right, Bernardo, Breezy, man. Get a DNA test, prove to the world that make your kids then, gang, yeah, if anything, right? But don't, now don't not, not take care of them kids. You be too effectuated into the streets. You need to be that effectuated and seeing if these my mother real kids. Cause it's three of them. It ain't one. Nigga, it's three kids. You see what I'm saying? I'd be more locked in on that than anything that's going on on the internet. Nigga, you watch my interview, me and Lil J, but you ain't gonna get no DNA test. It's insane. What's more important? What I got going on? Or you seeing if them your kids? Boy, you was crazy. Nah, I'm man. real nigga at some point, sometime. Like I don't be on. I talk a lot of shit and swallow a lot of spit because I be busting off that shit. But then when you stop and listen to what I be telling them, I'm like, damn. Now nah, he right as fuck though. If it was you, DJ, you're like, shorty, he been busting game. He was scared, look black me. Shorty, I was in jail fucking that bitch up. Of what? I love when that black ink cool come on on my dead brother shorty. I'm in that bitch, Sally. What you for the do, gang? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wreck, folks. What you for the do, gang? Y'all saw last week, scouts for the show, the titties. What you for the do, gang? <laughs> What's up, gang? It won't be like this, how what? That's so it's cool. like to even see that, yo, shout out to you for that, though. To even see you pop up on TMZ with her, I'm like, okay, he from the wreck, even though you are okay. I was just in, I'm in, I'm in jail. You know what I'm saying? Thinking about all type of shit about this lady. She showing titties ass, all type of shit on TV. She show her titties in every state. 
<laughs> my grandma, she put a bitch out of every state. Shorty. Hey, so look, speaking know, of though, uh, is, pushing peace, you just mentioned earlier, I want to ask your thoughts and opinion on the leaked phone call uh, between FYB J Main and Lil Dirk. It was leaked by J Main um, this Ooh, past man. Sunday. Um, and you know, um, it was it was spreading a positive message across for the, for the young Chicago. That's what we gotta do, man. I ain't gonna lie though, like DJU. If we can do this shit, sure. Hey, like, say like, say man, I ain't really seen this. I wasn't seeing no money at first with all that war shit, gang. Like, you know, KBC, that should be cool and shit. You feel me? But shit, I've been seeing, I've been seeing some legit money. You know what I'm saying? I've been able to move and groove, pushing my piece. I done made amends with a lot of niggas that I done broke bonds with. You know what I'm saying? F- with Lil J, like. So it was like so so for the the push piece for me like I ain't gonna lie it changed it's changed it's been changing shit in my life for the for the better though you know what I'm saying because no I ain't got I ain't got all that that dark shit on me. you see what I'm saying I ain't got all that karma on karma I ain't even getting my karma I'm getting my homie karma I'm getting you know what I'm saying it's a a lot of shit changing for me like now I've been surrounding myself around. That been like, damn, folks got some shit going on. And uh, before he see me fall, he gonna, he uplifted me. I ain't around no motherfuckers that's waiting on me to uplift them or waiting on me to blow. Fuck them doing their own shit. Um, bro, I, sometimes like I be calling them out. Hey, boy, I need y'all to come out real quick and bring that shit out for me real quick. I'm finna shoot this video. Well, for the house, honey, bitches, pull up. I need y'all to come out with them cars. And you know what I'm saying? That shit like that shit fascinating to them. You feel me? This shit fascinating in life. But so it's like, but all this shit comes from like pushing peace, man. So now motherfuckers feeling comfortable. Like, oh come on, we can go, yeah, we can go, we can go outside with them. It's Boston way. They got it going. They ain't got shit really going. We ducked off out the way. We ain't in tour with each other. Um bro, we ain't up and guns on each other. Anything for we're gonna talk and we gonna fight about it. Like what what I got going on. You feel me? So it's like positive the peace, like I ain't gonna lie, that P stands for a lot. Like you could be pushing pushing whatever you wanna be pushing with that P. Pounds, pussy, positivity. I ain't gonna lie, should he be pushing a lot with that peace, yeah. That P stands for a lot, gang on B. So it's like it's a lot coming with that shit, shorty. It's a lot of people that, that's interested in understanding what you too as, as a person. I ain't scared. A lot of my, all my homies, like, so I've been locking in and just interacting with people. Like, niggas like, man, I, 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 ain't, I ain't worried about you. I don't took the really shit a nigga told me. Shout out to Lil Dre, gang. Mm. Lil Dre for 95th, shorty. LB, he called me real shit I ever heard. Shorty say, shorty, I ain't scared of you, gang. I ain't worried about you telling him he had no shit like that. He said on some real shit, but I fucked you. I knew you said you shorty. He say. Even if you was out here telling on niggas, I know not to do nothing around your ass, bitch. If that's with your name, if that's on your name, I was like, I, I, I wanted to be mad, man. But then at the same time, my homie should have got it. You gotta listen to him, too, though. You gotta understand what I'm saying, gang. You can't just, cause that friend of me, what the fuck you mean, bitch ass nigga? What you gonna get into it? Fuck you telling me I should have got it? Wow, you know? But the new me, I was able to, like, oh, okay, okay. Without you disrespecting me, you, you know what I'm saying? You let them know like shit, bro. I ain't worried. I fuck with you, bitch. You let me. I, I fuck with you, but I love you. He like, but if I felt like, sure, you you a real rat. He like, I wouldn't do nothing around you, but I'm I'm like, he like for. He like, I know you, bitch. I be with you, you like, bitch, and you don't even put yourself in situations, predicaments where motherfucker got to grab a up, do none of that shit. He like, bitch, you be out the way. As you as I should be though. I supposed to be out the way, gang. Okay? I work for ticket. What the fuck am I doing sitting around playing? I'm the meal ticket game. Oh, folks, great. Like, so I'm not, I don't, I don't have time for errors on bro. Like, so it's like, you gotta understand, but a lot of people ain't matured enough. And both fuckers ain't been through a, enough yet. But for a lot of niggas still been on the streets. A lot of niggas ain't even never been in the bean. None of that shit, shorty. A lot of niggas only been the intake. Word. 
Well, yeah, shout out to Lil Dirk. Shout out to FYP J Main. But they sure. doing something good, boy. That shit could do a good impact on the community, boy. Yeah. For real. Yeah, for sure. I think it was dope. You know, with Lil Dirk being as big as he is, you know, reaching out to all the Chicago bloggers. You know what I'm you saying? You too. FYB J Main, 16 you. shot him. You know what I'm saying? Well, Myself, you can't even exclude yourself, bro. Myself included. Because you know, you know you a power piece into this shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. See how I how I was looking at it? Cause I f with you, DJ. You you my dog, ain't no boy shit. I f with you for real though. Right? So when the whole thing with everything was going on, when them calls was getting called, them actually talking to Lil Durk and they managing them, I felt like, at first I was like, damn, this could have already been a chess move for short dude and them on their side anyway with DJ U them. Cause DJ U, you honestly, for on some real shit, like, yeah, yeah, we was pushing this piece shit too, but you were not one of them messy, nasty ass bloggers. You really been on some, nah, man, let me, let me see why I can pull y'all together on this and let me see how we can end this before this go that way. Um, bro, like I, I remember when you first started shit, when you was trying to, we had that make Chicago fun shit going on before Lizzie and them was saying that shit. You was saying like, you know, look, motherfuckers weren't even catching your quotes for real. You know what I'm saying? But you was throwing this shit out there like, man, we gotta make Chicago fun again. We gotta make Chicago great. Like you was talking that shit though, and like a revolver door shit, that shit stink. What you said, it, it it came back around to more ears, but everybody interprets shit in their own way. So everybody started like, man, bro, what I was on my fucking where I go, 39th. Oh, um, bro, you know what I'm saying? And you know everybody be on 39th game. Man, I went down there because my mom, my my auntie Trish, this is my mama best friend, but but just like my real auntie to me, you feel me? I knew this lady my whole life, like, you know what I'm saying? But her her daughter's son ended up, he he killed himself or whatever. And uh motherfucker thought I wasn't gonna come to my little cousin in front of him, man. And you know, that blew a lot of here. They're like, what the fuck is she butter doing? Cause that they like butter, 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 butter mama in here too. Butter auntie in this bitch too, butter uncle in this bitch too, butter grunt. I'm like my whole family in this bitch, boy. This my little cousin, boy. I'm in this bitch, boy. But motherfucker don't even understand the ties of the city, but all that shit still came to the push a piece of it. I'm saying that, like this shit do, it works, bro. Cause they no telling how your life might be in danger. No matter where you at, no matter how tough you think you are, gang. It's always somebody tougher than you. It's always somebody that's ready to crash. So, bro, they woke up ready to crash. You came out with that shit on party trying to get it going. Shutty them out here with 30 is here trying to die. <laughs> Great, for real, gang. Like, no more of it. Like, so it's like, um, I just want to uh shout out to all the men that's that's able to uh, you know, put a different perspective on life because it's not about how you start; it's more about how you finish. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think Jay Main is doing a great job at at leading the way. You know. On the other side of the peace movement, um, there obviously is still RP killing. R.P. Slick, man. Going on in the street. <clears throat> R.P. T. Slick. R.P. Bloodhound Lil Jeff. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Uh, but you know, T. Slick Julio. was one of the ones that was really on some pushing. Like, he came home, like, on some real shit. Slick was trying to prove to everybody else that, like, after all that time, a motherfucker's taking care of him, that he can come home and do it himself, bro. You know what I'm saying? And for him to die, it was crazy. Cause you know, he was like one of the first, first ones from that's really from over there. That's really shit. So he like, he really got a face for a say so to be even indulging in this, the indulging in this shit. That shit, <clears throat> that shit was amazing, DJ U, bro. No bullshit. And I ain't on no dick ride shit. I ain't on no fair shit for, I don't know, this 100 shit. Like, I go back with Thomas. Me and Thomas, them and my brother, like, all the old, did you remember them stories? My fucking tell you, like, I oh, man, DJ, you bad ass. T6 ass lost his eight. My fucking hit him with a baseball bat in this shit, gang. Da 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 da. We fighting the bully. Like, we didn't have some crazy, like, shut up. We just getting it on with so many fights. Like, I think Slick stayed on MOB, shut he stayed on Wall Bash, gang. Stay right down 50, or like 55th, 56th in a Wall Bash. Feel me? So, you know, he with us, but he, he 
fuck with them too. His nephew and them from over east. Like, so we was all, all us, this before shit got to get too real, gang. You see what I'm saying? Bless you, bro. Bless you, brother. But this before shit got to get too real, though, DJ, you like, so I ain't gonna lie, I felt some type of way when it slicked down. I was like, damn, that shit crazy. You feel me? Especially after doing all that time. Because I was just one of them niggas, too, that just went and did a lot of time and came home. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I know he ain't even really get to experience what's really to this to the work to the world, gang. Like, cause it's some shit to this world, for real. So I went to my condolences out to Slick the family. You know, his little sister used to go with my brother, my my, my homie, little brother Poppy. You know what I'm saying? T Slick little sister was Poppy girl. Jarvis City little the real little brother. You know, so it's like you know they <clears throat> all this shit tie into some type of way, gang. You know, and so. Right now, uh, for the niggas who 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 ain't pushing peace, really think about how 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 motherfuckers really is tied into each other, bro. We grown as hell now. Now our kids and kids, our kids and our baby mamas and our grandmas and aunties and them, our, we probably ain't that dysfunction, but uh, our kids and our people them is. You know what I'm saying? So I hate that T Slick lost his life, especially right before Chief Keith made his return to Chicago. I think that would have been so dope for Slick to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Hell yeah, because you know he was one. He was the reason he he was banned from Chicago. Type shit. <clears throat> you know. So yeah, man. R. P. T. Slick for show. Sir, spank him. Stop playing with us in this club. You feel me? But you see how fucked up it is right now. The same niggas. Who they spank back then, dick sucking them. You know? I bet. Now they do. Nigga, they be saying fuck us, all type of shit. Like, nigga, them niggas kill child homie, nigga, y'all be with them niggas, nah. Child goofy at nah, let me stop playing. That's good. Maybe I was able to get over the get over it. Now everything is to go to war over. Hey, so what you think about the um, Jacksonville drill scene, right? Um, the superstar you rapper Fulio. Fully goofy old name, huh? Call it that, Fully Goofy O. Hey, so why, why, why everybody dissing Fulio? Like, why I was, was he dissing Doug? Black... Why, why you diss Doug? Okay, when so Doug died, dissing why Doug? was he dissing? He don't even know us, gang. He was dissing. FPG why was Goofy O? Why was he trolling us? That Goofy O was trolling us. Now look. Goofy, yo, we rolling up. No, I quit. I don't even smoke the heavy. He was saying, saying crazy shit like going on rants about Duck and took a fool. What? What the way you do to you? He was like, his name Duck and he couldn't duck. Ooh, ooh. Oh, type of shit, man. Crazy, he, man. He took me, I said, let me smoke this duck. He smoking a little ass roach. But, gang, what you on? What you on with us, bro? What do we do to you? You from fucking Florida, bro. I know we ain't did nothing to you, man. Shit. I didn't know he was doing all that. And I think I did see something like that online, like on Reddit or something. Um, that troll or shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people who be trolling duck name, bro, they as they they end up be dying and shit, and it be crazy. I be like, damn. That's why I be stop saying I smoke. Y'all don't notice. I don't say I smoke dead niggas and shit no more. I'm like, yes, dead. Oh, what? DJ, you go crazy.